Hello, my name is Peter Parford. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. In this video, I'm going to take you through step by step how to use the UJK Path Guide system. And in particular, today we're going to be making my brand new track saw cutting station, which you see here now. It replaces the old one, which you might be able to see behind me. Now the concept is very simple. Uh, using these core components, the two path sticks and these three millimeter accessories uh, from the path guide system, we are going to create a pattern of three millimeter holes, which the rows and the columns are exactly at right angles and the distance between the centers is 96 millimeters. And for this part of the process, we'll need these tools, a drill and a pair of clamps. And then using these core components, the 20 millimeter drill guide and the 20 millimeter drill bit, plus these additional items, uh, which are not part of the kit, uh, a drill and a pair of the small Veritas dogs, we're going to enlarge the three millimeter holes up to 20 millimeters. But let's just have a quick look at the geometry that's behind this. Do you remember that nice Mr. Pythagoras taught us that uh, if you have a three, four, five triangle, then the angle between the sides, which have got lengths of three and four, will be a right angle. Now, the same is true if you double up those numbers. So a six, eight, ten triangle also has a right angle as shown. And it's these figures, six, eight, and ten, that we'll be using all the time with the path guide system. Now imagine we had three path sticks and we arranged them as shown. We then create our 6, 8, 10 triangle, but we've only got two path sticks. So this is what we do. Uh, we can place one path stick uh, along this top edge and then we can clamp it in place. And we're now going to take the 3mm drill bit in our drill and we're now going to drill through all of these holes. And we're going to use the 3mm guide uh, bush to do this and it's absolutely essential we use this to try and get these holes as near vertical as possible. Now it's really good practice wherever possible to always clamp a path stick in place prior to drilling just in case it moves. And a second thing which I would advise everyone to do is after you've drilled your first hole Stick in one of the three millimeter pins. We're going to do the same at the other end. And that gives me a lot of confidence now that uh, even if I accidentally knock a clamp, uh, I'm not going to upset the accuracy of what I'm about to do. Now, it really is a good idea to take care at this stage because if you do this properly, using clamps and pins uh, and doing your best to uh, keep this as accurate as possible, you will be able to produce near CNC accuracy uh, with your layout of 20 millimeter holes. And we've now got our first few three millimeter holes drilled. If I now uh, swing this first path stick around, now we're now gonna set up the triangle as shown and we're going to count along one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want a pin through the end of this stick and into hole number six just here. So we're now going to put a pin uh, in the tenth hole along here and the eighth hole along here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and that is ten there. So do make sure that uh, this pin is through both of the sticks and it's sitting vertically and the sticks are on the surface and now we're going to put a clamp here. To deliberately illustrate what happens when uh, your point here at the end of this rule and uh, the, the eight point on this rule uh, is not on your surface. It's not a problem. All we're going to do is make sure that this end is supported and we're going to count down as before, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. And we're going to line up these two precisely. And with that pin in place, we can now clamp here and clamp here. And that is a perfect line up there. My clamps are nice and tight. And so the very first thing I'm now going to do is to drill a hole just here and put a pin in. So I'm happy with that. I can now remove this pin and place it there and those two pins with the two clamps are securing 
this part stick in place, which means I can now go ahead and drill these holes. And we're now going to repeat the process, and this time using a line down there. And it's exactly the same process. Uh, we're using our 6, 8 and 10 triangle. And as soon as I've done that, I'm going to put a pin in. So now I've got the two clamps and a pin at either end uh, holding uh, the path stick in place. I can now drill the rest of these holes. And now we've got our second column of holes. Uh, and it's important now to check uh, to make sure that you're doing things accurately. For example, uh, we could put a pin through this hole here. And if this has been done accurately, the distance between that hole there and this one here should be exactly the same as it is at the top. And it should go through uh, the end hole here. Now, I'm, from where I'm standing, I'm looking straight down at the floor of my workshop. And that is absolutely spot on. So this pin is in, that pin is in, and that ruler is absolutely rock solid. I can do a further check now with that rule uh, held by those two pins. I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to put this one in here. And I can now do a visual check to make sure that the one, two, three, four, five, six hole here. And although there's no hole through the uh, board here, um, I've got the other parts of the rule secured with pins and I can stick a spare three millimeter drill down through here and down through into this path stick. And if I put my finger there, you can see that this path stick's not moving. That is absolutely perfect. Now it now means I could clamp this in place and drill those holes. Now it's a good idea to think carefully about where you actually need to have holes on a track saw cutting station. Uh, my philosophy is as follows. Uh, I'm probably always going to have my uh, path dogs uh, along the same line. So I've got a number of different places I can put them just in case. But certainly this position, this position is standard. And uh, I then put my uh, ordinary bench dogs in a second line here. And that overcomes the occasional problem you get where the body of the saw might hit uh, a path dog. Now there's one thing I've learned uh, from uh, this experience and that is there's absolutely no need to have any holes here because this is the line of the saw kerf because then that will uh, guarantee uh, that you never accidentally uh, put a dog in a hole along the path of the saw. So I know I want to have holes along here and holes along there at 96 millimeter intervals. So I've drawn a pencil line there, a pencil line there, which just reminds me what I'm going to be doing is fixing a path stick in place with pin and a pin, clamp and a clamp, and I'm just going to drill a three millimeter hole there and there move on there and there and so on. So I then have the three millimeter holes in the lines I require here and no more. Now so far we've been drilling holes in a square 960 by 960 millimeters uh, and there are times like now when you want to extend the holes uh, and that's what we're about to do. Now, let me just say that if you're using a piece of board which is longer than a path stick, then you should always try and set the path stick up initially in the centre, so that then when you're extending to the left or to the right, you're going to minimise uh, the incremental error that occurs, because the further you try and extend your line of holes, the less accurate things will become. Now, in order to extend the line of holes, uh, set the path stick up such that it's in uh, the line that you've already created and use two pins uh, and a pair of clamps. Uh, one clamp is going to be at this end and one approximately in the middle here. And that's those additional three holes done. And I just do the same now at each of the other three corners. So that's all of those uh, four extension lines done and I can now complete the two lines I've got at the top. Now after a bit of practice and when you're happy you'll be able to use uh, the path stick with just a pair of pins and no clamps. 
However, I do recommend that you always use clamps when you're setting out the original uh, square of holes. So we've now uh, finished with the path sticks uh, and the, all the three millimeter drilling. And now we're gonna move on and do the 20 millimeter uh, drilling. That's to enlarge the selected holes that we wish. Uh, and for this, we need the 20 millimeter uh, guide, uh, the 20 millimeter uh, drill, and at least two of the uh, three millimeter pins. We may require, depending on the layout, uh, a pair of the small bench dogs from Veritas. Well, that's the end of the first part. Please watch part two to see how we drill out all of the 20 millimeter holes. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.